What's up everybody? Welcome back to another vlog and good morning. Today we're gonna be unboxing a super, super cool car part. I'm so excited to show you guys. I've never owned this car part on any of my cars before. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and show you guys the box. But as you can see, we have this. And if you guys don't know what this is, then you guys are gonna have to stay tuned. Before we unbox this for you guys today, this morning we're actually gonna go to a meet at Griot's Garage in Tacoma. This meet is for Pacific Northwest Toyota owners. I'm not sure how big this meet's gonna be. I was told about it last minute, but I did set up a pre-meet here locally, and we're gonna go ahead and cruise all the way over there. I'm also running on a little bit of sleep, so I'm not gonna vlog that much this morning at the meet or the pre-meet and cruise. Uh, I'll just try to catch you guys some cool footage of some other cars that we're meeting up with and also cool cars at the show that I find interesting. All right, let's go. Well, we're headed to the pre-meet, which is not too far away from my house. Uh, I just set this up yesterday, so I'm not even sure what the turnout may look like, but I'm hoping that we got at least, at least another car so I don't have to cruise by myself. We have one person show up. What's up? Wow. Hello, guys. How y'all doing? <laughs> All right, so we actually have a couple more people show up. We got Jimmy, Gabriel, and my boy, uh, Phil. This is my first time seeing yellow in person. That's the real Super Saiyan right there. Yellow or black, did I mess up, guys? Tell me. We're back in the meet. First off, I just want to shout out Gabriel, JR, Jimmy, and Phil. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me. And hopefully, we can show you guys their cars on the channel too. But we're back, and as promised, we're going to go ahead and open this box right here for you guys. So, as you guys can obviously tell, we got bucket seats for the Supra. Uh, and we went with Bride Japan or Bridge Japan. Don't murder me for saying it wrong, uh, however you guys say it. But I'm super excited to get these. I've never had bucket seats in my car before or any of my cars. I've always wanted them, but was not able to get them, so I decided we're gonna do it with the Supra. And what we have here, guys,
All right, y'all, it's actually the next day. I forgot to continue to film after I filmed that cinematic, but the bucket seats that we went with are the Bride Z4 Wides. Originally, I wanted to go with the Zetas, but one of my buddies actually has this standard Zeta seat and it's much too small for me. And they don't make the XLs in those anymore, so I did go with the Z4 Wides because I needed to fit this fat Oh, I am so, so excited. These Bride seats aren't like the regular ones. First off, you have the uh, stitching Bride here and you have the Lomax in blue. The standard seats come actually in red, but that's not the special part. The special part is that this is a collaborative seat between Bride Japan and Dogfight. If you guys actually don't know what Dogfight is, it is an automotive blog uh, that really just focuses on Japanese time attack or Japanese uh, motorsports in general. I follow them. I love what they put out. And honestly, I just think it looks so sick. What do you guys think? So. Uh, not only does it have the bride stitched on the seat, it also has dogfight stitched in the front and in the back. On the new Zeta 4s and the uh, Zegs, uh, the harness holes are actually much bigger and they're some type of carbon fiber. I don't know if it's real carbon fiber or just an overlay, but that is super cool. It's both on the bottom as well. It is a silverback. And the goal for the car is eventually, hopefully I can get a roll bar uh, or a half roll cage and have it paint match to the silver as well. Imagine just looking through the trunk, seeing the roll bar back there uh, with the matching paint and with the dogfight just sticking in the back. I can imagine it now, it's gonna be so sick. Oh my gosh. It also has uh, this fake leather for, I mean not fake leather, fake carbon fiber, whatever this is, but I love, love the way the seat looks. Just look at that. I'm so excited to get this in. Oh. Damn. I love these seats so much. They're so freaking comfortable. If you guys watched this far into the video, I just want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to keep trying to push out more content for you guys, but honestly, it's pretty hard to balance uh, life, a full-time job, and then do this. Uh, but I am a big believer that, you know, people shouldn't put all their time into work. They should really invest into their passions. Uh, and things that they enjoy and make sure that they have time for themselves. And for me, that's filming, that's cars, and that's sharing it with you guys. Super, super excited about this next part of the build. Uh, hope you guys are interested in following along. If you guys can, please comment, like, and subscribe. I promise you guys this is going to be one of the coolest track-inspired street Supras that you've ever seen. That's the goal. Peace out.